Hey guys, so a while back I made uh, a couple of videos about how to use the Strava API and I meant to make a video about how we could use the data that we got from the Strava API to display it on a map like this. So if you remember in the last video we had just the simple index.html page and when you opened it up in the console um, we got the data from the Strava API. Um, so in this next video I'd like to take this data and actually put it on a map like this because uh, I think that's more useful and I th that's kind of what I was when I made the Strava videos I was I had this um, end in mind but it, it's just taken me a while to make these videos because I, I have to reteach myself how I how I did this stuff so um, so if if you've watched the videos and you have a, a site or you have code like this that gets your data then you, you're ready to continue with this video but if you don't um, just go ahead and watch those other two videos first and um, then you can pick back up here so I'm gonna go over to leaflet.com so leaflets the uh, JavaScript library that we're gonna use uh, and you see there's there's plenty of documentation and info here I'm just gonna go to their quick start guide all right, and uh, let's jump right into it. So preparing your page. So before writing any code for the map, you need to do the following preparation steps. So basically we have to add, we have to add leaflets, custom CSS, and their custom JavaScript to our site. So uh, this stuff has to go into the head section of our index.html. So I actually didn't even have a head section. So just make a head section if you don't have one and then paste that in there and, and we're gonna get the JavaScript next alright grab that guy okay Let's see what's next so put a div element with a certain ID where you want your map to be so this is just basically where the actual map is going to show up on the page so I'm going to put it under this hello section or under under the hello heading. Okay. And now make sure the map container has a defined height. So they're using CSS here, so we're going to make a new file, a style sheet. So I'm going to call it styles.css. Paste that here. I'm actually going to change this a little bit. So height, let's make it 800 pixels, and width, 800 pixels. Okay. And now we need to add the reference to the style sheet in our index.html. So in the head section here, just type link. And this needs to go to our styles. Okay. All right. So now you're ready to initialize the map and do some stuff with it. So now that we have all that, all those dependencies set up, we can actually set the map up. So here's what they're doing. They're making a, a variable called my map, and um, they're basically adding all this stuff to it. So I noticed down here that this is referencing map box, and we're going to need an access token for that. So I'm not going to do Mapbox just so you guys don't have to go through the process of getting that access token. I noticed on this first page here, they um, they have an example that just uses OpenStreetMap, which looks like this, and that's fine for right now. We don't need any actual imagery, so I'm going to take this code here, and we're going to copy this, and we're going to put this in our JavaScript. So before we do that actually we need to do some other things so just a disclaimer I'm not a JavaScript expert some of this stuff actually does confuse me a little bit um, so I'm not going to really explain these next few steps because I don't fully understand them if if somebody else has a better grasp of how this all works please just leave a comment but this is what I was able to do to get it working um, so basically we're getting the response and we're 
right now we're getting the response and logging it in the console in, in JSON. So that's, um, let me just launch it. So that's what we're getting here. So what we need to do is, so we're just console.logging it. We actually, we want to work with this data. So I got to get rid of that console.log. And then we need to add another dot then. And then we have to say function data. And inside here is where we're going to copy all of the, um, the map code. So I think what's going on here is we're saying, okay, once this promise is resolved, give it to us in this JSON format. And then we're going to do this other function and we're going to pass in the data, which is this JSON data, and we're going to do stuff with it. And the reason we need to put the map inside here is because we need to dynamically update this map with data that comes from from here. So long story short, um, so I think we're in good shape. I'm just going to make sure, because this has got me confused, not confused, but it's messed me up. We got to make sure all of these variables and names are the same. So we need to make sure our in our CSS that it's actually map. So it's map ID. And we have to make sure that the div is map. All right. Let's clean it up a bit. Let's see what else they say on here. So we don't need this. So we did all that. All right, let's just give it a try. I think it should work. Okay, cool. So we have just a basic map up right now. Now let's um, let's center this a little bit. So we need the body. Since this is all in the body, we need to center everything in the body. Um, so to do that, we have to go back to the style sheet. And we're going to say body. Now what sort of style we want to apply to the body? And we just want to text align center. All right, let me refresh it. Okay, this didn't follow. And I think it's because we need the display to be inline block. Let's just try this. All right, let's try that. Okay, cool. So at this point, we have a map, a working map on the, the screen. And we, um, we're, we're working with our Strava API data. Um, we're not actually doing anything with it yet, but we have it available. Um, so I think I'll stop the video there. Uh, it's eight minutes. And then I think in the next video, we're going to, you know, we're going to talk about how do we actually add that um, the API data to the map.